Peng Penguin <laughs> Penguin Premium Blend number two. What is it all about? Is it still good for 2020? Let's find out right now. Okay, welcome back to my channel this is your host Alex and yes for today we're gonna be covering as we've seen in the thumbnail penguin what does this one smell like we'll answer that after we look at the presentation and for the box as you can see it's print here there's a little texturized um, detail on the sides of the box I don't know if you can see that well but yeah it does feel nice and yeah original penguin batch number two premium blend nothing on the sides of it nothing on the sides and at the bottom you could see batch code and that barcode now at the back you see ingredients, warnings, precautions, such. And at the top of the box, you would see the logo. It's kind of embossed. I don't know if you could really see it. But yeah, this one is embossed. So that is it for the box. For the bottle. As you can see, it's, it looks cold, it looks frosted, nothing around it. And this cap, it is kind of uh, rubberized, should I say. If you run your fingers across it, you'll make marks like such. So this one is semi-rubberized. And there we go for the sprayer. Sprayer distributes nice, evenly. Not the best, but does the job. And yeah, that is the cap that we have for Penguin. Snaps into place. Nice bottle, not gonna lie. As far as I know, for the bottles, what I had is the old one, which doesn't have a sticker in it. I think the newer ones has a sticker on it. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. It's yours. So. Going on to what this one smells like, I do have here the dry down and we'll be doing a fresh spray of this one on my hand. Yeah, the sprayer is, sprayer is kind of inconsistent with this one, sometimes it squirts, I don't know if you like something that squirts or sometimes it just gives a fine mist. So yeah, it's not a very reliable sprayer but nonetheless it works and that's what's important. We are getting mint, we're getting that cold crispy bergamot along with the lavender, lavender. Um, it relaxes you to be honest because the lavender in here is very relaxing. It also gives you that salty aquatic vibe about it. It's reminiscent of the Bulgari Aquas that we've uh, grown used to. Now this one is I'd say similarities with Nautica Voyage, the only good Nautica fragrance. It reminds me of that, in the sense that it's it's purely aquatic. Although this one borders on the salty aquatic side, it gives you this clean aura. Imagine hot summer day, blistering hot, high humidity. And then you spray this on, you would get attention mainly because you exude that clean, that crisp, uh, professional aura. It has, it has that familiar cleanliness about it. It's not laundry sheets type of cleanliness. It's more like out of the shower type cleanliness. It's very safe to be honest. Um, there's nothing much that you could complain about this one. Much so for its price. 
on around $17 or 750 pesos but it is too simple again to a fault it is it becomes way too boring in the dry down once it settles it becomes way too boring predictable and yeah nothing would excite you about this one but this would get you compliments from the ladies who are not into the fragrance game you know this um this casual users of fragrances once they smell this on you it's like it's like familiar to them that that freshness that crisp bergamot at the top it's very familiar with today's colognes so I, I i think you would get good compliments with this for those who are not in the fragrance game but you will not impress anybody who's had experience with fragrances with this one so we're going to use this very casually at the office if you're in the aviation industry if you are in the hospitality industry if you're in the bank you know customer facing type of work on um, real estate this would this would give a familiar and comforting feeling of freshness and cleanliness for them so there's nothing offensive about this no surprise notes underneath no spectacular development it's just what it is it is clean fresh crisp and aquatic now um having touched on the occasions where to wear this yeah just very casually um, with colors for semi-formal i don't think you could pull this off but yeah again it's it's up to you for formal i do not recommend this i will never recommend this for a formal setting okay it is it is way too casual it's way too fleeting and yeah since we're, we're touching on the performance right now as i've said it's kind of fleeting this one lasts on me for around i'd say three four hours it lasts on me after the alcohol settles it does project nicely um but um, just up until the 30 or 40 minute mark so yeah you could you could use this as a body spray okay and no one will get offended with you if you just want a blast of freshness here and there just do it this is 100 mil 17 dollars can't go wrong with it can't offend people so does it mean that i am recommending this one uh yes for the starters for beginners if you just need a gift for someone yeah this would be pretty safe um i'd be happy i'd be happy to get this as a gift they could use this as a daily driver or fragrance nothing too serious just really casual clean and fresh now for the advanced noses out there who's had more than a year of experience in designers dabbling into niche this one will not impress you okay so i'm just recommending this as a gift for starters for those who doesn't want um to be that cologne guy this is a perfect fragrance for you so yeah um i hope you found this review useful i'm gonna be seeing you in the next episode and as usual these are just my recommendations my opinions and my suggestions and at the end of the day you do you. I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned. Your your awesome subscription and hitting that notification bell helps the channel a lot. Thank you. I will see you in the next episode.